Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to set up falling keyframes in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and for example, I will use these vector elements. First one, select this background and look here. Then select these elements. Let's select this layer 4 and let's press P and move to up. Okay, and make new person in keyframe. Let's go to one second and move it down. Okay, so let's see. Okay, this very easy and simple animation with two keyframes. And let's make falling animation. And let's go to last keyframe and go to three keyframes. For shortcut, go to frame by frame keyframes. Use page down in keyboard. One, two, three and move the up a little bit, go to the keyframes, 1, 2, 3, move it down. Let's all select this keyframe, copy and paste. Let's see. Okay, so select keyframes, right mouse, keyframe instant and easy is or click F9. And select these last three keyframes, move to left, let's see again. Okay, we have problem with last keyframes. Select last three keyframes and right mouse go to keyframe interpolation and change current settings to linear. Click OK. Let's say again. OK, not bad, but I want to more improve keyframes. Select these all keyframes, go to graph editor and let's zoom to graph. If you not see graph like this, go to click this icon and select edit speed graph. OK, so. Select this first keyframe and let's make graph like this for falling and select this keyframe, change graph like this. Let's see. Nice, not bad. And back to keyframes, select all these keyframes, move to right a little bit and go to first second. Hold shift, press S, open scale and change scale 0, make scale keyframe and go to here, chain scale 100. Select scale keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Nice. And let's hold shift, press air, open rotation. Go to here, first second, make rotation keyframe. And go to here, chain rotation minus 3 or minus 6. Let's see. Okay, and go to here, next keyframe change 3 and go to here change minus 1 and next keyframe change 0 select rotation keyframes make easy or click F9 let's say animation ok nice so select this layer 5 and go for a second let's press P move to up don't forget to select this pen behind icon move to anchor point down Classation tool and make new person keyframe. Go to here and move it down. Go to next keyframe, move it up. Go to last keyframe, select first keyframe, copy pass. And select keyframes, make easy. Again, make sound for these layers. Select last three keyframes, right mouse, keyframe interpolation. Change linear, click OK and select all keyframes, go to graph editor, select this first keyframe graph and make like this, select this keyframe, move to right for filing. Let's see. Okay, back to keyframes and select these last three keyframes, move to left for more fast animation. Okay, not bad. And in this time, let's hold shift, press air, open rotation. Make new rotation keyframe and change 6 and go to here, change minus 3 and go to next keyframe, change 1, that 5 and go to next keyframe, change 0. Select rotation keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Nice. So, select these last rotation keyframes. Let's hold Alt, move right. Nice. Also, select this 
layer 4 rotation keyframes, hold alt, move right rotations. Okay, this is more realistic. So, select this layer 5, select all these keyframes and move to right. And go to first second, hold shift press S, change scale 0, make scale keyframe and go to here, change scale 100%. Also select scale keyframes, make easies. And right now select these all keyframes from layer 5. Let's copy with Ctrl C and select this layer 6 and go to first second. Let's go to solo and go to pen behind. Move the anchor point down. Click selection tool and let's Ctrl V for pass. And let's unsolo, let's say animation. Okay, we can see here two layers and let's select this layer 6, press P and select all position keyframes. Let's go to last position keyframe and when we select all position keyframes, move to left these layers with keyframes. Let's see. Nice. And also select this layer 7 and go to first second and go to solo, select pen behind and move the anchor point down. Click session 2, unsolo, and let's control V for pass. Again, we can see two layers here. Let's press P, select position keyframes, go to last position keyframe, and move to left object with keyframes. And let's see. Nice, very good. And let's make layers step-by-step -step random animations. Let's close keyframe settings and select this layer 4. Let's see here. Select layer 4, move to right, and layer 5, move to right, and 6, and 7. Let's see. Let's move to right more. Okay, nice. I like it. And select this layer. Go to pen behind. Move the anchor point here, click session 2 and select this layer and move the anchor point here, click session 2 and select this layer, let's control V for paste all keyframes, let's see, ok, press P, go to first second, select position keyframes and move the up like this and go to last position keyframes, let's go to here, select position keyframes again and move it down let's see okay select this layer one and hold shift press air open rotation and in this time let's go to here change rotation like this and select last three keyframes delete and go to here and change rotation like this let's change minus 10 and go to here change 5 and go to here, change minus 2, that 5. So there are more keyframes for more realistic movements. And go to here, change 1, that 5. And more keyframes, change minus 1. And here, change 0. Let's see. Okay, I like it. And select this middle position keyframe. Move it down a little bit for slowly bones. Okay, so select this layer 1, let's go to solo and layer main, go to solo, let's see solo animation. Okay, I like it, not bad. There are more keyframes for realistic animation and I think it's not bad. So, let's unsolo all these layers, select this layer 1, press U for C, all keyframes, and select these all keyframes, all positions, scale, and rotation keyframes. Let's copy with Ctrl C, select layer 2, and go to here, Ctrl V for paste. And press P, go to here, select last position keyframe, and move to the left. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Let's close keyframe settings and let's see timing. Okay, select layer 1, move to here, and layer 2, move to here. 
Nice, very good. Okay, we have problem with this layer two keyframes. Let's select and press P. Okay, select this middle keyframe. Let's zoom to here and let's move to down like this. Okay, let's select these last two keyframes and delete and press U for C keyframes. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Select rotation keyframes, move to left. Okay, that's good. And select the layer 2. Let's move to left. Nice. So let's select these all layers and click this icon for motion blur and press N for select work area. And let's see finally preview animation. Okay, that's good. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.